Hi guys, today I'm going to be doing a video which is an update video and I actually reviewed this product probably a good couple of months ago, maybe three months ago, something like that and it's the Bellamy Hair Extension. So I've had these extensions since February, the start of February and it is now getting towards the end of June, about halfway through June. So I've had them a good couple of months, about four or five months sort of thing now. So I feel that I've had them quite a reasonable length of time to give you guys a follow-up review on these and it is also a video that has been requested on my channel. So here I have the extensions, they are a little bit frizzy because I actually haven't washed these yet since I got them. I've probably worn these probably no more than about 20 times to be honest with you. I only wear them on occasions, I don't wear them day to day because I already have quite long hair as you guys can see. It's quite long anyway. So I don't put them in every day because usually I don't, usually I just simply do not have the time. But when I do have the time, I love wearing them. They always make me feel so glam and it's just nice to have a little bit of extra hair. These are my Bellamy 22 inch Bellissima hair extensions. These probably actually aren't 22 inches anymore because I did have some cut off because I just felt they were a bit too long for me. I am five foot one, so I just felt it was a bit too much hair and just yeah they were just all a bit too long and it was just way too much hair and it just looks a bit kind of just like I was literally just walking lump of hair basically they were just too long for my height the ratio of hair to height was just not quite right anyway so I probably had about two inches took off so these are probably about 20 inches now and I feel they're a lot more wearable at this length I actually feel that these extensions still feel really nice, they still are really really thick. This isn't even all of the wefts, this is without the four one clips because I still haven't dyed those because I just don't use them. So that's how thick the hair still is, well my hair anyway. Even at the end I still feel like it's really quite thick. Like I say though, I don't wear these on a day-to-day -day basis. If you do wear hair extensions on a day-to-day -day basis, like religiously every day, you have got to realise that they're going to shed and thin out a lot quicker than say ones like mine because you're just simply not getting the, you know, you're not wearing them out as quick. That's just the way it is. You're not playing with them so much. Um, you know, you're not brushing them as often and things like that. And they will shed, hair extensions will shed because hair naturally sheds my hair oh my god i can't even tell you how much my hair sheds like because it's so bright as well when it comes out you see it everywhere like you see it in the car on clothes everywhere like people will walk past and be like i just found one of your hairs on me because like it's not like you know like brown hair you just don't realize it's there because it's bright red you realize it's there so yeah that's how it works these do lose a bit of hair when you brush them but I don't feel like they get overall too knotty and unmanageable like I say they're still really really thick and they look thinner than they probably would if they'd been just washed anyway because they are still kind of semi curled from when I curled them two days ago when I last wore them so I'll just try and show you how the thickness is on these like obviously this is kind of separated into two curls that I've done, that's a two piece weft, uh, that's a three clip weft, still looking pretty thick, the thickness top to bottom I think still pretty consistent as well compared to what it was when I got them, see now this is a three clip and I still feel like this is really quite thick especially at the top, I have no gripe with these whatsoever I really don't and this is this one I actually use a lot and this four piece I don't always use so if you look at how thick this one is and then how thick this one is this one is a little thicker obviously because I haven't used it as much but I can chop and change these and whatnot so that's not a problem but the thickness really I don't think has changed too much if I'm honest this is a little thicker, the one on the, this one is a little thicker, but it hasn't been used as much. Now just picking up this thinner of the four piece wefts, I just want to show you guys like how the kind of these bits are still looking because 
I have not had any clips come loose on any of the wefts or anything like that. I haven't seen any loose stitching on any of the wefts. There's a little bit of excess stitching there from a knot. But other than that, everything seems to be... Yeah, everything still seems to be in pretty damn good working order on all of the wefts I use. And I use the two, two two pieces, two three pieces and one of the four pieces generally. That's what I tend to use in my hair and that's what I have here as well as the other four piece. I've been watching some reviews lately and some people have gave this hair really bad reviews and I just don't know quite where they're coming from because mine have lasted really well, I haven't even washed these yet and they still look fine, they still smell fine. <laughs> I think I'm going to deep condition these because that's probably why they're frizzy because they need a deep condition because I think what it is is conditioner gets rid of frizz like there's something where it neutralizes the charged particles or something like that I don't know the true science of it but I think that's the idea so yeah these do need a deep condition I might not even shampoo them I might just deep condition them I'm not sure yet considering these haven't been washed since I dyed them I've not noticed any dye transfer off of them rubbing off onto any clothes or anything which I have experienced in the past with other extensions I just I just think these are really good great quality extensions and I cannot moan at them at all they are pricey but if you use them in moderation I think is the way I would put it and they will last a very long time I definitely think I've probably got at least another six months wear out of these wearing them at the rate I do um, another way that I would say that I look after mine is like I say, I haven't washed them, so I'm not overwashing them. I am going to condition them, so put hair mask on, deep condition, whatnot. Another way that I look after mine is I don't put a ton of product in them. So what I mean by that is like I don't put loads of mousse, hairspray or anything like that in them. I styled them the other night and didn't put any hairspray in whatsoever. Also, if I can get away with leaving them, like say they're kind of like a loose curl now, if that's the type of style that I'm wearing and I can get away without curling them again and just putting them straight in, I will do that because one, it saves tons of time and two, it saves the heat on the hair. So even like my ends, like you know you get split ends, the ends on here all look pretty good and I do still have quite a bit of room to cut off some more length if I do get any split ends but right now there's like one or two little bits that look a bit mm, iffy but overall they're in good condition. My overall follow up review of these extensions is if you use if you wear them every day they are going to thin out probably a lot more than mine have. Mine have barely thinned out in my opinion. I don't but I wear mine on occasion so I've worn mine probably no more than 20 to 30 times. In the time that I've had them they're still really thick and there is so much hair there still. I'm happy with that. It looks great, it looks natural, it styles the same as my hair, it colour matches my hair really well which I, you know, which was always a struggle for me with red hair. And I haven't experienced any problem with breakage or clips coming loose or any any problems with any of the wefts at all. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with these. I should have mentioned this at the start, but I didn't. Just so you guys all know, I'm not affiliated with Bellamy Hair. I pay for these with my own money. If you guys haven't seen my first review of them, I will link it in the down bar for you so you can check it out and you can see what my initial review is. And there I go through all the customer service and everything like that so you guys can see how their customer service is as well because customer service is key whenever you are buying anything, particularly something that is expensive like these hair extensions. So that is just my overall review of these extensions. Follow up review, still love them, still think they're great, still working beautifully well for me, definitely a good buy. Hair is great quality hair, I love it. It feels amazing, it still feels nice, it's still shiny, it's still glossy. A little bit frizzy because it needs deep conditioning but other than that, these hair extensions are still pretty immaculate to me. So guys, I hope the follow up review for the Bellamy hair extensions was useful to you guys. 
you may say it's one-sided but I cannot really fault these extensions the only fault I probably have with just clipping hair extensions as a whole is that the clips tend to because of the weight of the hair the clips give can like tug on my hair a little bit and give me a bit of a headache over time but that happens with every set of clippings I have it doesn't matter about where they're from what make they are the clips or anything it doesn't make that much of a difference but I still love these extensions and I think I'll continue to do so for quite a long time so I hope this was useful to you guys please like and subscribe to my channel I will see you all soon bye bye